speaking. Part 3. Education System. Question 1. What do you think of the education system in Vietnam? Answer. I think we have quite a comprehensive education system, especially the basic education. But it still has some problems. For example, the focus of the teaching is on exams instead of problem solving, and teachers still use the traditional force feeding method. So, the students are always busy with their endless homework without any time to play. Question 2. What do you think are the main problems in the Vietnamese education system? Answer. I think the major problem is the teaching approaches in Vietnam. The majority of teachers and students work for exams in schools nowadays in Vietnam. As you know, Vietnam basically has an exam-oriented education system, with force-feeding approaches dominating. So, some students are very good at memorizing facts. But what they really need is creativity, imagination and originality. But actually, some improvements are being made gradually. For example, in some good schools, quality teaching is being practiced, which means that the students are learning to be independent with practical problem-solving skills. Question 3. How important do you think education is to an individual? Answer. I think education is very important to an individual. In my opinion, with education, one can learn a lot of knowledge, which can enrich one's life. From my personal experience, in the course of learning, I discovered many new things, for example, learn to do my own learning, how to train my critical thinking skills. One thing which is really important to me is that, I discovered my potential, that means, what I am really good at. With this understanding, I could put my potential into full play and realize my dream and my ambitions. Question 4. How important do you think the computer is in education today? Are there any subjects computers cannot teach today? Answer. Computers can't possibly replace human teachers although there are some subjects in which a computer can be used successfully to teach especially elementary mathematics and elementary language learning. In fact, any area which requires a student to memorize basic facts through repetition is well suited to computer learning. However, in the learning and practice of more complex ideas, the computer is inadequate. A computer can evaluate an answer as right or wrong, but it cannot determine why. It cannot find out why a student is making mistakes and then represent important concepts in a different way so the student will understand. So you see, while computers may be useful as a tool for practicing simple skills, they cannot monitor a student's grasp of concepts, nor evaluate a student's reasoning. It will certainly be used only as a tool, not a substitute for human nature.